me what you see. First, like people show up, right? Like seeing this thing being painted in, in the floor. So they have this question of what's going on. My name is Alonso Estrada. I go by the art name, The Deadhead. The first question is like, what are you doing? After talking, we're like, I don't know this happened. I thought like this was just a part. It used to be a neighborhood, Onion Creek. In 2013, this neighborhood had a major flood. Some areas were 10 feet in water and then 40 feet in others. There's a lot of stories of, of resilience and survival. And so I tell the story of what, what happened. I am painting a public art mural. So I tell the story of what, what happened those nights of the floods. They were looking for an artist to help create some way to honor and inform the public of what happened. Since I got it, I knew. I wanted to hear their stories. I never experienced something like that. So how can I paint for a community that I never had experienced it? So what I decided to do is um, have conversations with them and hear them out of what had happened that night. I was part of those those conversations. My name's Joe, J-O Garcia. He did a lot of research and that impressed me that he did a lot of research, went into the neighborhood and, you know, read up and listened to us. And at the last uh, meeting that we had, I asked because this is something that was very significant for me. So can you add some stars? During the floods, she was her family and they were asleep when they went outside, they started seeing the water coming. I said, we have to get up on the roof. I said, you know what, I'm gonna get on the truck, you know, and you hand me the kids and we'll get on the truck and we'll climb up to the roof. My son, he handed me my three-year-old grandson. And that's when uh, it's like a current came and just washed the truck to the back. We went into the water and I reached and, and I felt it was a two by four. And I thought, I, I'm holding on. This is where I'm holding on. Somehow I was able to get him to the top of the roof. It was still dark, um, but the sky was clear. Her grandchildren was like, Grandma, I'm, I'm really scared. Uh. So I said, look up and let's connect the dots. It's like, just, just connect the dots. Just kind of start connecting the dots. So I haven't seen it, but he said he was gonna add some, some stars. Yeah, I'm, I'm putting some, some stars up um, for her. So right here's where we have right now all the supplies. I'm paint. Um, this is not regular paint. This is something specific for the roads. The reason why we're using this is because it's I think city code. Medium. The way the community fits then, in my work uh, like is a um, uh, sense of belonging. I'm trying to help them heal and try to be somebody that's there to listen to what they're going through. That's like the idea of this, this project, to just be whatever that community needs. I hope they, um, they take back that this thing's happened and there needs to be preparedness. There needs to be communication. There need, needs to, people need to be held accountable that should be held accountable. Um, that it's not forgotten. This is a collective of a 
humans in a floating planet. We are succeeding by keeping alive their stories. <laughs>